Hi everyone, welcome to Lindor Does Life. Today, we're gonna be eating all around the town of Banff in Banff National Park, Alberta. My name is Linda Huang and I'm a Canadian blogger and now video blogger sharing about my life. Tune in each week as I do something. <laughs> I'll try things you might wanna try, visit places you might wanna visit, and eat food you might wanna eat. I hope you join me as I do life. Banff National Park in the Canadian Rockies is well known for its beautiful scenery and ample adventures. We drove down for our anniversary weekend and we're excited to do one of my favorite adventures, eating. Here are 10 places in Banff you might want to dine at when you're in town. It's obviously not an exhaustive list, but it's definitely a tasty one. First, try Banff's newest bubble tea spot, Milk Tea Banff. It's located inside Park Avenue Mall and serves up some beautiful and delicious milk or fruit teas, smoothies, yogurt sparklers, cheesecakes, and more. Next, let's pick up a sweet treat from The Fudgery. Located on Main Street, find handmade specialty chocolates including bear paws, chocolate truffles, brittles, candy apples, made on site right before your eyes at this popular spot serving sweet treats since 1977. Break your teeth? <laughs> For a Cajun breakfast, lunch, or dinner, Tululu's is the place to be. Their slogan is a little Louisiana, Acadiana, and Canadiana. We just ordered, and the server said, are you sure you want to order that? It's a lot of food. Yeah, I think we're sure. <laughs> Check out their unique seafood benedicts in their breakfast benedict bar, try the breakfast poutine, or one of their famous bayou bowls. The portions are big. <laughs> Bear Street is home to a few great spots in Banff. We were invited to try a tea-inspired cocktail crawl along the street with complimentary teas and cocktail samples. And we have 65 different organic tea blends which we blend here in Banff. And every day we have six different samples out that you can try. So come along and we'll try a few out. Ooh, interesting. Make your way through all the free tea sample stations at Jolene's Tea House, located inside the historic Old Crag Cabin, one of Banff's oldest buildings said to have been built in the late 1880s. Can you smell it? We also bought a few teas to take home. We hit the patio at Three Bears Brewery, but probably should have dined in because this place apparently has a stargazing retractable roof and beer garden, plus a 25-foot pine tree inside the restaurant. Really missed out on that one, but didn't miss out on the scratch cooked food and small batch brews made on site using glacial water. <laughs> Try a flight, their cheesy waffle fries with caramelized onions and the carne asada beef lettuce wraps. Then head down to the Bison, named one of the top 10 best fine dining restaurants in Canada for farm to table, locally sourced, rotating seasonal menus. You've got to try bison at a place called the bison and let the cocktails flow with suggestions from the servers. Cheers! Hello Sunshine is one of Vamp's newest restaurants, a Japanese spot with private karaoke rooms. The batter corn and eggplants are must orders and you get great value in the bows. They have a lot of fun drinks too, including this matcha colada. Now for a bit of a palate cleanser, poutine! Banff Poutine is a Montreal-style eatery offering traditional poutines made of fresh home-cut potatoes and Quebec's famous squeaky cheese curds covered with gravy. We got the Montreal smoked meat poutine, but you could grab a sandwich too. Anyway. <laughs> Did you see? Did I disappear? No. Delish. Craving soup? Ramen Arashi is a tiny little ramen joint in Sundance Mall. Expect lineups at this popular spot with a selection of Japanese ramen soup bowls, appetizers like gyoza or chicken karagi, and an appetizer sample which funnily is just toppings from a ramen bowl. You should also try the popular taiyaki Japanese fish shaped dessert cake here too. And the 10th and final spot to eat in Banff, at least for this trip, is the classic some might say iconic institution, the Grizzly House. Banff's famous fondue and hot rock restaurant has been operating since 1967. You can find over a dozen varieties of meat, from your standard beef or chicken, to some pretty unique cuts like snake or frog. It's an interactive, filling meal that you've got to try at least once. 
Oh my god. <laughs> so, we are done eating in Banff. We ate so much food. It was so good. You probably won't eat all the food that we ate. Actually, Imagine eating so much that you feel like you're gonna throw up. Yeah, so it's actually not a good thing if you eat that much. I didn't enjoy it actually. <laughs> but we wanted to do that for the video so that you could see all the different options you have. And that's not even all of the options that are in Banff. Anyways, so we hope you enjoy your visit to Banff and eat all the good food and do the different adventures. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next episode. Bye. <laughs> it's too spicy. <laughs>